All right, hello everybody. Uh, I got a problem by email. I was asked to do uh, one of the problems from 11.1, .1, either 35, 36, 37, 38. So I am going to work problem 11.1, um, and then the problem number is number 35. Okay, there's four problems at the end that are like this. They're probability problems. They're probability problems based on area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen and read the problem and draw a little picture on my whiteboard. And then because I don't know if <clears throat> you will see both my screen and <clears throat> my camera at the same time, I'm going to unshare. So <clears throat> let me come down here. I'm going to share my screen. I want to share this window right here. Beautiful. Okay, so what we are doing is we are going to toss a bean bag at, uh, at the tape, the square tabletop that is shown. And we're going to assume our bean bag, <clears throat> the center of the bean bag is going to fall in one of those, uh, one of those areas and it's not going to touch anything. And so we want to find the probability. So here's the deal. In our chapter, we are assuming that we are calculating probability of equally likely events. And so when I'm doing something like this, I need things cut into the same size. So you'll see that the thing here is I've got different shapes. So give me a moment. It's going to take just a second. Uh, we've got red, we've got yellow, we've got green. So let me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this. So if you're watching the recording, you can go ahead and fast forward a little bit. Uh, But I want to make sure that everybody can see. So we've got here, we've got red, we've got yellow, we've got green and red. And then up a notch, we've got green and yellow. And then here we've got green, red, green. And then finally on this other side, we have red and yellow. All right, so this is the drawing. So now I'm going to unshare my screen so that we can uh, we can watch hopefully me do this. So I want to find the probability that it lands in each of the different colors. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and <clears throat> it doesn't really matter which one I do first. I'm going to do yellow and then we'll do green and then we'll do red. So the probability of yellow. So I see that I have <clears throat> I have three spaces that are colored yellow. I've got right here, I've got right here, I've got right here. But notice that each of them is a different shape. So I can't just say, oh, I've got one, two, three spaces out of however many, because all the spaces are different sizes. There's not equally likely outcomes. So what I have to do is I'm gonna calculate <clears throat> the probability of each of the shapes separately. So let me start with this one right here. What's the probability, forget everything else, what's the probability that my bean bag lands in this shape. Well, think about this figure. How many blocks of this size would cover the table? And it would be one, two, three, four, five, six. There would be six blocks, blocks of this size. So for my bean bag to land in this one right here, that is going to be a one chance out of six. But that's not the only space that has a yellow, so plus. Now let's move to this one. Okay, it's a different size, so I've got to consider it separately. So how many spaces of this size would cover the tabletop? Well, there's one, two here, so two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. There would be 12 spaces of this size. So how many do I have? Well, I have one out of 12. Plus, the other yellow one is up here, these triangles. These triangles function same kind of, same way we just did. How many triangles like this would cover the tabletop? So two right here, and then two more, so four, and then six, and then eight, and then 10, and then 12. So there'd be 12 triangles. So there is one of them out of 12. And so the probability that it's gonna land on yellow, this one out of six is for this space, this one out of 12 is for this space, this one out of 12 is for this space. And now I'm just gonna add those values together, and that's gonna give me the probability that it lands on any of the yellow anywhere. So common denominator here is going to be 12. And 
So this is one out of 12, this is one out of 12. When I multiply six by two and one by two, I get two out of 12. So one, two, three, I get four chances out of 12. My math lab likes reduced fractions. So four goes into four once, four goes into 12 three times. So there is a one chance out of three that my bean bag is gonna land on yellow. So I had to treat each of the different size spaces separately, and then I add them together into one. So if you're watching this on video, why don't you pause? And why don't you try to see, can you figure that out for the green space? And then I'm going to do it. So go ahead and pause. And now unpause. Okay, so let's do green. What's the probability that my bean bag lands on a green space? Okay, well, let's go and look at the different size green spaces. So I'm going to use the green marker to circle the green spaces. So I've got a green space here. I've got a green space here. I've got a green space here. And I've got a green space there. So there are four green spaces. But again, each of those four spaces is not the same size. So I have to calculate the, uh, the, the probability separately. So for this one, okay, well, it's very similar to the yellow. This block right here, it would take one, two, three, four, five, six of this size block to cover the whole thing. So I have one green one out of six. We saw the same thing for the yellow. It would take two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. It would take 12 blocks this size to cover the whole thing. So I have one of those out of 12. And then this space, these spaces are even different size. So there's one, two, three of them. So there's three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. There would be 18 blocks this size. And how many of them do I have? Well, I have one, two out of 18 blocks that size. So here the common denominator is going to be 36. Six times six gives me 36, so one times six is six. By the way, if you struggle adding fractions, send me an email. I have some videos from another class uh, where I review adding fractions, so we can, uh, we can get you up to speed. 12 times three, one times three is three out of 36, and 18 times two, two times two is four out of 36. So six plus three is nine, nine plus four is 13 out of 36. That is a reduced fraction already. So we're done. So one more time, once again, I've done the yellow, I've done the green. We're gonna go through and calculate the probability of the red. So why don't you pause the video? Why don't you take a shot at it and then see how you do compared to what I do. So I'm gonna erase the board, pause your video, then unpause when you're done. All right, we're back. And so here we go. I'm going to circle all the red spaces. So this one's red, this one's red, this one's red, and finally that one right there is red. And so now we're going to calculate the probability that my bean bag lands in a red space. So we've basically done this for all these shapes already. There's no new sized shape here. So I'm just going to start at the top. We saw when we were doing green that it would take 18 spaces this size because Three of them fit into this block, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So it would take 18 blocks this size. I only have one that size of red, so that's one red one out of 18. We saw when we did the yellow that these triangles, there's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 of them that cover up the whole thing. I've got one red one, so one out of 12. And then I have, uh, we saw when we did the green and the yellow that it would take 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 of this a size, and I've got one, two red ones that size, so two out of 12. So once again, the common denominator is 36. Eighteen times two is 36, so one times two is two. Twelve times three is 36, one times three is three. Twelve times three is 36, two times three is six. And that gives me two plus three is five, five plus six is 11 out of 36. There we go, that's the probability that, uh, that that adds up. Now, I didn't keep all of my answers, but if you took, since we've covered all the spaces, we did the probability of yellow, we did the probability of green, probability of red. Remember one of the principles of probability is when you add up the probabilities of all the outcomes that can possibly happen, you should get one. 
So if you go back through your notes, if you took notes on this, you take the 11 out of 36, and then I, I don't remember what the previous one, I think 13 out of 36, and you add that, and then you add the answer from the first one, whatever it was, all three of those fractions should add up to one if we did our arithmetic right. Hope that helps. Uh, 35, then 36, 37, 38 are just all examples of the same thing, just cut into different sizes.